In this last example, let's move into the final stages of opportunity management. So here I am again viewing my opportunity list to see which ones are going to close this quarter. So let's say this one, uh, the third one from the top called Diaz Furniture is about to close. Now I can either close the opportunity by simply you know, taking the action directly from core or let's assume for a second that the opportunity was closed by, by somebody uh, using the uh, SAP hybrid environment you know, using the desktop. So I've actually already set up an alert which allows me to actually monitor and look for any changes happening regarding opportunities closing um, within my account list or my opportunity list. So I should be getting alerts. So I just did saying Diaz Furniture opportunity has just closed. Okay. Now notice that it also comes with its own set of actions. But in this case, the actions actually are in a totally different system. One of the action is that I can actually go ahead and create a sales order. So I can start the process of creating a sales order for us to deliver the goods to DS Furniture. At the same time, I can take a totally different action, which is go ahead and give kudos or badges and success factors to the sales rep. So for example, if I want to create a sales order, it allows me to actually go ahead and create a sales order in this case in SAP S4 HANA. So I'm actually going to go ahead and create a sales order in S4 HANA and using my S4 HANA bot, go ahead and set up a sales order for this particular opportunity. So let me log in with my credentials. And now we are going and talking to a backend system, um, in this case S4 HANA, and it actually pulls up the information about the this particular opportunity and allows me to actually close the opportunity. So in this case, I can actually pull up the partner details. So let's say if I had a partner, uh, pull up the materials. So let's say this is the material I need to provide to it. Uh, the item could be, let's say, 1, um, and the price could be, for example, 10. Um, so I can go ahead and provide these details so that it can execute and create a sales order for that particular opportunity for DS Furniture. So I've actually now just go ahead and created a new sales order, sales order, a brand new sales order for an opportunity alert, an opportunity closing within my SAP hybrid environment and I was easily able to create a sales order within my ERP system. Thank you.